Damn. What is going on guys, Narcolept Nugget here, and we are back with yet another video. I've been doing daily uploads lately, and it's been a little bit of a grind, but I love it. I've been receiving so much positive feedback, and honestly, thank you guys so much for that, because that's what motivates me to continue making these videos. So today we got something brand new that I've been wanting to do forever now, and I honestly don't know why I haven't made this video yet. I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite spots to put my drone in competitive matches. Hopefully this video not only helps out you, but also your future teammates. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright guys, so we're going to kick things off with my favorite drone spot on the canal map and uh, this is ideally for when the objective is in the boathouse either hostage or secure the area as you can see you just have to hop up here onto this bar and you get great vision of the whole room as long as no one sees you go up there and no one tags from your drone you'll pretty much be able to watch all the room campers the entire round next up we have the map chalet and this one's different than the last one because this drone spot is not really for watching room campers, but rather for watching out for roamers and people who are rotating. All you have to do is jump onto the wall ledge, then onto the window ledge, and crawl along until you get to the very end. As you can see, it gives you great vision of this entire side of the map. This drone spot is good in any situation, and having this drone in combination with good team communication will make it pretty much impossible for the enemy team to sneak up on you. Alright, and now we're looking at the map plane, specifically when the objective is in the luggage hold. So the common place for drones in this objective location is in the storage boxes, and although that's a great place, at the higher levels when they really focus on destroying all the drones, they almost always check there and get destroyed. So what I do is I jump onto these wheels, and then up onto this pipe on the roof. And as you can see, you get great vision of pretty much the entire room, and it's really hard for people to see you up there. Unless someone's tagging from your drone, they won't find it. However, there's actually a better spot that I go, and if you face the wall and then move to the right, um, see how I'm doing it there? It'll it'll take you under all the roof ceiling bars, and it gets you over here. And from here, you can go onto these little two pipes, and from here, not only is the enemy going to have a really hard time finding your drone, but you get even better vision of the room. And now we're in Cafe, where my go-to drone spot is on top of the trains in the train museum. Now when the objective is secure the area, it's really easy to get on this train. You literally just have to jump on the objective and then jump on top. But if the objective is bomb or hostage, you can definitely still do it, but it's a little bit trickier. What you have to do is jump onto the windowsill of the train, and then onto the lamp, and then onto the roof. It sounds complicated, but once you do it a few times, it becomes really easy. And as you can see, you get great vision of the entire room, as well as the room right beside it. Next, we're taking a look at Hereford Base, and we're going to the most popular location spot, the basement. So for this one, you want to jump onto this box, and then onto this ledge, and then onto the vent. From the vent, you have quite a few options. You can go over here, um, it gives you great vision of the room. I mean, pretty much all of this gives you great vision of the room. But you can go over here, you could also look on the back side here and see if anyone's camping back there. Or you can travel down the vent to the other side, and this spot also gives you great vision of the entire room. So that last spot I showed you is probably the main place to go for when the objective is in the basement, but if you have a team with good communication, um, I would also suggest putting a drone here. So what you want to do is jump on the boxes like you just saw me do, then onto the metal rack, and then onto this vent. From here, you can follow along the vent and either place your drone right here and leave it there, or you can go onto the door frame and put it right here. If you already have a drone in the room and you know who's room camping, then this is the second best place to have your drone. Because if anyone rotates back to the room, they're likely to come through this way, either the ladder or the main stairwell, both of which you can see from here. Last but not least, we have a drone spot in the bank, specifically the money room. And this one's less of a secret than the other spots, but honestly, I don't see many people use it and I don't know why. So what you do is you just jump onto that money bag and then up here onto the... Um, storage boxes and from here your drones really protected I mean not many people look up here and you get great vision of the entire room there's just so much versatility in this drone spot like you can move around and get great vision obviously of the cash room but also down by those bars down there where a lot of people tend to camp as well you can move your drone over here and see through the vault toward the elevators or just roll further along the storage boxes and get a different angle on the cash room Alright guys, and that wraps up this video. Once again, thank you guys so, so much for the crazy support I've been receiving lately. I know this was a different type of video, but if you found this video helpful, leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you want more videos just like this one, hit the like button and subscribe. Once again guys, thank you for watching, and good luck sieging.
just different things. Uh.